What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kangaroo back again with some news that I knew was coming, you know, for a minute now. Coach O is about to be gone from LSU. They letting him go. I thought they saved his job yesterday, but they couldn't do nothing for him. Apparently, this been in the work since last week when they lost to Kentucky. So, But, yeah, Ed Ogeron finna be out. They letting him. Uh, stay on to the end of the season, so he'll be the coach until the end of the season. But the good thing for Coach O, they got to pay him $17 million his buyout. So it ain't all bad for old Coach O. But he will no longer be the LSU coach, head coach after uh, this season. So like I said, they did all they can to save him yesterday. Maybe he'd have lost yesterday. He'd have been gone today. But uh they letting him go, man. Old Coach O, man. Just two years ago, he was on top of the world winning a national championship. So, it goes to show you how fast things can fall. I think I told y'all the other week about Gene Chesney. When he won the uh, national championship with Auburn in 2010, end of the 2012 season, he was out. Got to keep the program relevant. You can't just come in and win a national championship one time and then just think they're going to keep you when your when your program go down. No, nah, it ain't going to happen. Just what have you done for me lately type of deal. So, Coach O, I told you last week, week before that, get your affairs in order. I guess LSU giving you some time to get your affairs in order. That's why they're keeping you on. So, they ain't want to just let you go today and have you scrambling and shit. But shit, $17 million, I wouldn't be mad. But, yeah, so I wonder who will they get to replace old Coach O, man. Maybe they'll try to go and get Joe Brady back. It might be a good candidate. They might go shopping at Alabama and uh, Georgia. Might be shopping for some of their assistants. So, hey, they can have Pete Golden. We're glad to get him up. But I don't know if Georgia want to give up any of their assistants, so. Uh, LSU you might you might be uh in for one. Shit. Hell, we got Bill O'Brien, hell, every offensive coordinator we get. Somebody come take him away anyway. So, you know, Nick Saban, he 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 always uh can refurbish some damn body. But yeah, man, old old coach, old man. When they hired him, I said, shit, he ain't gonna get for three or four years. Well, he got five, five or six out of them. And he had championship year. I've been saying that he was just alone for the ride. And that's exactly what he was. So I think their best bet is to try to get Joe Brady, man. Cause, you know, they they bought in when when he got there. They 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 he had that offense rolling. But uh but that year they defense stepped up too, so. But uh we'll just see who they get. Maybe uh whoever they get, he'll be a pretty good coach and get them back to playing LSU football because these past two seasons, they have not. They have not looked like the same LSU of old. So uh hopefully, hopefully they'll um get it back on track. And uh LSU. We'll be looking forward to playing y'all next year, too. Oh, and another thing. I'm wondering if some other, um, like the high school players who done committed to LSU, will some of them decommit if they don't name a coach uh, before, you know, the end of the season or, or soon? Because they might be coming in not knowing who they coach is. I wonder will they decommit. I wonder will it have an uh, effect on their uh, recruiting this year so i think they need to they need to name a head coach you know pretty soon so maybe they'll wait till the off season and maybe these kids are just waiting to see who they name and go from there so but anyway old coach oh he's out of there at the end of the season but he still get his money so like i said it ain't all bad so that's all i want to uh let y'all know if y'all don't already know but uh I'll talk to y'all later. Roll tight.